everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial for the Leviathan box. And today we are covering another high fleet of the Termagants. Well, covering another high fleet using a Termagant. And as always, this box was sent to me early by Games Workshop to build up and paint for you. And we've done a number of these now but we're still not finished. So today we're gonna to be painting High Fleet Ouroboros, or Ouroboros, however you want to say it. And uh, yeah, he's been primed in Wraithbone and we're gonna jump in and start doing it. So the color we're gonna be using first is Croxigore Scales. And we're gonna be applying this over the top of all of the flesh. What we can also do here, if at all possible, just avoid any of the little gaps in the armor. Well, skin. You don't have to worry too much about avoiding the chitin because that is, of course, going to be black. But if you can't avoid any of those gaps, don't worry. You can just take some wraith bone. and recover it. So with all that Croxagore scales applied all the way around, what we're now gonna do is take some Black Legion. I'm gonna apply this over the top of all of the carapace. Or rather, Chitinous armor. Just like this. So with all that Black Legion now applied, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Volupus Pink. I'm gonna apply this to those gaps in the skin. And on the gun. So with that now done, we're gonna take some Gilliman Flesh and we're gonna apply this over the gun. And with that now done, we're going to take some Skeleton Horde and we're going to apply this over the top of all of our bone bits. Which is going to be all of the claws and hooves and things like that.
And with that done, I'm then going to take some Blood Angels Red and apply this over the eye on the gun. Like that. You can also apply it over the eyes of the Termagant as well. Should you so desire, like that. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on on the Termagant. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one shade and that's going to be Drakenhof Nightshade. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of the skin and over the top of all of the black. So with that done, our Termagant is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready, and he's looking pretty cool. However, we're not gonna leave him there. No, of course, we're gonna take him to the next level. I'm gonna do this by adding some layers and some highlights. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Araman Blue. We use this as a relayer over the top of all the skin. So this is technically a highlight as well. So what we're looking to do here is avoid anywhere where our shade has really settled. Somewhat like this. We just want to go over all of the blue skin now. And then once that's done, we'll come back. So with all of that Araman blue applied, we're then going to take a little bit of Lothurn blue. And we're going to apply this to the sharpest point in all the skin, just to give it a little bit of visual interest. So with that leather and blue all applied, we're now going to move on to the black. And the colour we're going to be using to highlight all of this is some thinned down Dawnstone. So with all that Dawnstone applied, I'm then going to take a little bit of Administratum Grey and I'm just going to apply this to the sharpest corners. So with that now done, I'm going to take a teeny little bit of Fire Dragon Bright. I'm going to apply this over the eyes.
And finally, just to finish him off, we're going to take some Screaming Skull. I'm going to apply this over the teeth. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the bone areas. And so, with his base complete, our High Fleet Ouroboros, or Roboros, or, or our Rob or Ross, Red Dwarf fans, uh, <laughs> his Artermagant is now finished. It's a really interesting scheme, one I don't think I'd ever seen before, but I really liked it as soon as I saw it, and it was mentioned in live stream chat as being a popular one, so we absolutely had to do one. I think it looks great, it really does. And again, just a desperately simple scheme really really enjoying these if you enjoyed this video you love the channel and you'd like to support me further you absolutely can do so head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster just like these bosses have done scrolling up on the screen before you whose continued support helps me continue to make all the wonderful content that you enjoy Alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button on the channel page or just below this video like these wonderful amazing people have done. And if you really like this video and you just want to shoot me a little thanks, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.